poly balls. But they are a pain in the house. Very close one. Right, it is. How are we getting this top joint full? Oh, let's get cracking. Right, another day, another little job. This is actually for one of our viewers, Paul. I'll, um, I'll check I can mention his name before I put this out, but a nice drink. We're all set to start now. Put all the gear around, PPE, power, radio for later, drill, grinder, pop up, scaffold up again. That's what we're doing today. That lintel across the top of that window. It's got an angle in it, started to rust and blow. So that's coming out, a fresh one put in. New cabbage are trained. Um, vents, as, as, not as usual. And there's a couple of bricks to patch underneath where there's a flue. So I'll take it up and show I mean, I just dropped the echo off yesterday and we're in front of the strong boy. So we'll have to grind in just below the plank there for the strong boy to go in for the echo. Pop it up. So we'll get all set up now, get the grinding done and start knocking it down. We have got a good match on the brick. Lovely match. Oh, let's get cracking. So we'll do a step by step on this one. So you can see the lintel's rusting. That's quite obvious. A tiny gap above it. And then you come here. Here's your telltale. If you can pull that mortar out from in front of it. And there it goes. The rust's setting in and that's starting to it's starting to lift. It's only gone, it's only mild this one. The customer's thinking ahead, he wants his new window in, so we might as well get the lintel done before the window is done, which is a good idea. Because once the rust starts, there's no stopping it. So, first job is get ground out and get these three out. One, two, three. So we can get room to get our tray in. I'm not, I can't, yeah, it's had it, it's been insulated. The telltale holes for the blown in insulation, so we know it's going to have to fluff in it, so we'll have to be careful with that. And um, we've, we've brought some fiberglass to replace that. So, right, I'll go and get my tools, get my PPE, in and get started, start making a mess. So that's the grinding done. Not too bad, it's coming out quite easy. Bag lines only on 150, so we'll take that out to that brick. I think we'll probably take that brick out so we can get our upstand. <sighs> anyway, it's going well until I realised it's poly balls. And they are a pain in the house. Modern houses now they put a, a resin in with it so it sets. But these old ones, oh it's mad, once there's a hole that's it. So I'm going to have to get a couple of bags up here to catch what comes out, as much as I can. And then get some um, fiberglass and bod, uh, gob up the cavity like we normally do to stop anything falling down. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun and games. That's what's fell out so far, so we haven't took a brick out yet. So we'll get some bags.
we go. That's most of the mess done. So there's our link. Not in terrible nick, but it's like it's on its way. It's started to crack. This is the end that's worse. Just some uh, it's starting to expand there and lift. And uh, you can see that it's not even sealed across there. Yeah, um but it works out. This is gonna come out, I'm gonna tuck one underneath it. I might even tuck it tuck it there on top of the timber. Just put a little channel into the block work there. But that was a very close one. I use a 200 mil bit so I'll go right in. You can see where I hit the internal block. And whizzing away and then look at that. You can just see it's just grazed the top half a millimetre of the cable. That's a 10 mil cable as well. That was a close one. Just shows you don't know what's in there. So I'm going to get the bricks cleaned up. That shouldn't take long because it's a nice soft mortar. Um, get a mix in. Get the needle until and get the tray in. And get it all put back. So back to time lapse as usual, I get tidied up. go that took no time that that was an absolute doddle so they're all ready to go back in and two new ones for there three new ones so there brought them up yesterday beautiful match so um onto this cavity tray now let's get a Let's get a shut of that, get that wrinkle out. So let's have a get up here.
pass heavy. <coughs> so you can see where it's starting to rust away and expand. Only a little tiny area, but it's still enough to push the brickwork up. It's on the end as well, where there's no paint. There, there, it's the lumps. Just enough to lift the brickwork again. And the other end, not as bad, but once it starts, there's no stopping it. You can't treat it. You've got to get it out and replace it. So that's out. And get the other one ready to go in. It's on lovely. Yes, so we get our a brick. Put your brick on, make sure you, you, you can get your brick on, plus a few mil, like that. So you've got a bit of room at the back. That's it. So that's our Linton position. Now, now what I do is, it's great when it's a timber lintel because I put Put a nail into the, into the timber lintel just at the back of the, the angle line and it, because normally angle lines they try their best to fall back to drop back that is going nowhere one of the with it being any short lintel we can just put two in solid so that's going nowhere that's the lintel ready what we need to do now is prop it because we have a gap over the frame so angle irons will will bend and sag I just sold all lintels so get a couple of packers under that so it's not it's just support it while the brickwork goes off um, yeah that's it and then I can get the tray set up so I'll just get that packed up There we go, just tiny little bits of um, feather edge board, damaged feather edge board, a line mound. Chop it down and that is solid now. The frame will take the weight while the water goes off. And thanks to the little rod, thanks to that rascal again. It appears in nearly every video that now. Love it. It's only a 12 volt one as well, so could, don't imagine what the 18 volt one's like. Yeah, perfect. Tree time now. It's in. It's tucked into that joint above the cook, the wood lintel. There's a few nails in to hold it in place. And then I'm going to silicon it. As usual, we forgot something and it's the silicon bun, so customers very kind of lens as they're gone. So I'm gonna sit put a sit put a put a bead of silicon on there now just just to seal it up and then <coughs> put it down to size, get a mix on. So back to time lapse this time. And that's it, tray installed.
So now it's time to fit it, get it all ready to go. And then get a mix in. Quarter past 12. Well, uh, I'll get me dinner first then. Right, see you after dinner. Okay, bricks are in, going off fast with the sun on it. I'm going to stop, stop, stop the sun cream on a minute. So we've just got the top to, to fill in now. Um, yeah, everything's up here. On my hop up, ready to go. So I just need to get some sun cream on first. I'm going to bake baking here. Yep, get back to you in a minute. There right, it is, I'll be getting this top joint full. it to your solid end to compact it Thank you. 
That's it. Just patch those three brick in now, where the flue hole was badly patched. That's sorted. Just need to have a tidy up now. Uh, gonna be tough. Alex usually does the tidying. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Well done. New lintel, new tray, new vents. Standard. Wasn't too bad that. A lot easier than where I'm going tomorrow because this with the water on the job tomorrow is just unbelievable. This stuff came off really easy. So I think it's just coming up to um, four o'clock soon. So I'm going to get myself off here and get that got tidier up. Crap job, but somebody has to do it. Polished down and balls everywhere. So, um, yeah, I know it's another lintel job, but I seem to, people seem to like watching them. I hope you picked up a few tips from it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So, um, yeah, on another one tomorrow, ground floor. So, uh, yeah, see you on the next one.